Okay, so let's do this. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Licky Gaming, and welcome back to Ellerbach Farm. Welcome back to our bailing session, and let's get done today in this episode. Let's get done and dusted with this one because it's taking too long, and uh, well, I can. I think the square one would be faster, but uh, we can't bail this with the square one. It would have to be picked up with the trailer, and we just gave up on the. Uh, we just gave up on the uh, 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 silage clamp because we want to do only. We only want to sell. Well, actually, we didn't give up on the silage clamp. Silage clamp is going to be silage clamp. We're going to be using silage clamp as much as we can, but uh, for feeding our own animals. Now, that being said, uh, I'm not selling loose silage anymore, not in biogas. Actually, I still uh, haven't uh, worked out what's wrong with the biogas, it, why it wasn't accepting our silage. But um, it doesn't matter in the long run, I'm just not going to use it. And uh, uh, left. I'm not going to use it, I'm going to be using the, um, the bales for sales and the slurry manure for spreading and that's about it uh, i still have to do the research when is the best time for us to sell the um when's the best time to sell the cows because they're getting a little bit on the big side which is perfect which is exactly what we want from our cows uh the 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 beefers so uh what would be the best time to sell it i'm gonna have to do a research Actually, let's check this out. So if you go to Control S, that's guidance system. Alt S is the it's the seasons mod. And if we go to let's say, huh, which one do we have? Limousines or Aisha? I think it's limousines we have. Yeah, yeah, they're they're much more pricier. So more or less, it's uh, all the time is fine except the summer time. So mid spring could be a good, good time to sell them. Um, we have few of them, so that that definitely that would definitely help with our financial situation. We have thirty three thousand, and uh, we do need a harvester for the next year, and uh, it's gonna be class harvester definitely. But um, yeah, in uh, in spring. Uh, in sp oh, wait, okay. I'm I'm not talking too much. I'm not paying attention to the the harvester. Ah, here we go. Right. Yeah. So I'm th uh, I'm thinking about ten different stuff at once. So I'm thinking how we're gonna need. Oh yeah, this is filling really fast because this is a. Uh, this is um, a fully grown grass here that we have. Okay. okay, this one is done. And let's see if we can pick up this little bit here. We don't own this land. The question is, why don't we own this land? We should definitely buy this land. Okay. So let's see how we can do this. I'm gonna back this one up all the way. But obviously we didn't do the headland here. Oh, uh, and uh, I'm gonna unload this one. I think this neighbor's field is like a magnet for our bales. Oh boy, this is gonna cause some problems. Good neighborly issues. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, hey, what you gonna do? When they come for you. Okay, okay let's continue on. Slow down, unload this bale. And it's unloaded. And close the hatch. And let's go on. Periscope up. Let's go a little bit in the first person view and see how this is going to look from here. And uh, how do I know if my bale is done wrapping? I don't. I can't see from the inside. I'm looking. 
Well, I, I have to wing it. I believe it would be the best to unload it just after we're done with uh, almost being full. So, 395, 4000. Okay, now it's gonna unload. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, now we're gonna have a little bit of an issue with the neighbor's field here because we have some grass on the field. But let's try to do as painlessly as possible. So if I skip, let's skip three or, well, actually, let's just go. At least I'm gonna lift the pickup. So let's go here. Oh, it allows us to to mow there, but it doesn't allow us to pick up the grass from there. Because technically it's not our grass anymore. Oh, sneaky, uh, sneaky thing that you did there, neighbor. Sneaky thing. I had to tip my hat to you, sir. And, uh, of course. Okay, here we go. We picked up this one. Oh, the monitor there is telling us where we are at the moment. Okay. And uh, unload the bale. Come on, chop chop. We go okay the bale is unloaded so let's go to the third person view I think it was easier from here and left the pickup and let's continue on wage payments that's from the worker finishing the the plowing oh we have quite few bales I'll have to do calculations again how much we're gonna have how much can we sell Oh, 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 again, not paying attention. And uh, let's unload this one here, hopefully it's not gonna... Actually, I think it's ripe to roll down the hill. Uh, yes. Okay. From third person view, I think we can do a little bit better job. Uh, lift. Yeah, let's do this one first. Okay, this is working out. Or not. Attention, Achtung, Achtung. Licky Achtung. And here we go. Tudum, 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 tum, tum. Okay, now we can concentrate a bit better on the job we're doing. Unload the bale. Slow down, let's back up where we left off. Close it. Plonk. And go. And we gonna lift. I think it, it is really... Okay, I'm, I'm thinking about how where our fields are. And what are we doing with uh, our fields. Um... It always ends up that you, or at least in my case, I'm buying the fields that are right next to my farm because it's convenient. For example, I don't have to uh, carry manure for a long, long way and I don't have to drive long way to get to the field. But it's not so much fun. Uh, I mean, I do have those two big potato fields, the future potato fields, uh, a little bit away from the farm, which is uh, kind of good. And I wish I did the same with, uh, let's say... 
silage as well, uh, which kind of kind of I'm thinking that I should do the I should buy that little remote field that I liked um, and that I should maybe work it. So there's another thing I'm considering. So I, well, this is being unloaded. Let's just let me just show you what I'm thinking about. So uh, there's this extremely cute little field when you go outside of the map. I believe it's number 93. Yes, it is. I am pretty sure it's 93. It costs 43,000, and uh, I think it's grass on it. So let's like grass as well. Yes, 93. It's grass. Um, it's fully grown, and what are the fertilizing stages? Nothing. Zero. Well, it's cute nevertheless. So we have grass here, and let's see where else we have grass. Hmm, 95 looks something that could be challenging as well. It's just down the road, kinda. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we should, we should consider that. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not gonna do anything drastic now, I'm just gonna consider that. Uh, for the future. It, it could be a little bit, you know, more fun when it's challenging when we have to haul all of those bales back here. Now, the second thing, since I'm doing uh, something like this, obviously around the farm we don't need so much... Well, I think this fields around the farm is really good. It's, it gives us breeding room for our machinery and gives us access to the farm from multiple sides and if we destroy something, uh, we're destroying our own, so it's fine. But um, I don't know how far I should go with that because... Uh, for example, oh, this field here, the grass field in front of us, that's definitely not something that we need. Need uh, we we can we can live without it, um, and also if we buy it, it doesn't make our life easier because it's a separate field and it has a fence and it's not like we are buying breeding room around the around the farm, so it's it's just gonna be. And uh, we, the only reason why we should buy that field is just because it's close. So we don't have to go far away when we are fertilizing it. We don't have to go far away when we are uh, uh, mowing it and baling it and all that stuff. So, um, uh, but that's uh, from my point of view now about myself. If I would do, I, if I did that, it would just be the laziness. Please bale, stay in the place there. Thank you. It still doesn't mean that it's gonna listen while we save the game and load it later when we actually pick up the bales. For now I'm gonna leave them as, as they are. We have another thing, we have several other things we need to do. We need to bale that uh, straw, or hay, sorry. We need to bale that hay. Uh, well, we need to produce the hay first. So, you get out. And second one is here. I have to say that I'm um, unpleasantly surprised how long it takes to bale uh, these uh, only three fields, and they're not the biggest ones. It took us some time. I think I'm, I'm getting rusty with the baling thing and the organizational skills, which I'm proud of. Uh, I think I'm, I kind of... Um, I, I let it... I'm, I'm being loose with them, so... I, w I, mean, I need to up my game uh, concerning the organization of the of the work we do, so I think uh, we're gonna have to practice more. Right, okay, <clears throat> last last SWAT here, and then we have this little bit uh, left here, and hopefully we're gonna make it, we are at 14 minutes now, hopefully we're gonna be err again. Yeah, these, this is what I'm talking about. Well, maybe because I'm talking is the, the thing that uh, I would be pretty useless YouTuber if I didn't talk while I'm uh, doing this job, except time-lapse. Well, by the way, I talk with the time-lapses as well. <laughs> no, no, I don't. But, uh, would be fun, though. Okay. Let's unload this one. Uh, okay.
And on the way back, I'm gonna try to correct these little bits and pieces we have missed. It's a couple of them here. And a couple of them here. I can unload the bale now. There we go. I'm really wondering how many bales did we make. Uh, let's go the opposite direction now. Let's go this way. I'm, I'm, uh, I, I was just thinking when I was passing through this area, uh, I missed hold this p uh, piece of grass there, which would be much easier to pick up than that little bit that I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with. And uh, I'm like, oh, I need to save more grass. It's going to be a harsh year and I don't know what. It's going to be fine. We're going to survive, uh, but it's... Uh, it's not going to be the easiest one. Skip few rows, try not to hit the bales, and uh, where are we gonna go? Let's go here. Plonk, out, and go. go okay this is working out pretty nicely and uh, will this fill all the way till the end probably not I can just leave it for the and probably yes I think this class one looks nicer than Kuhn one, even though I said that class DLC, that Kuhn DLC is the best DLC ever, I think the, this Baylor look ni looks nicer than the Kuhn Baylor, the similar one, the, the what's it called, multi-wrap or something. I just invented that, it's, it's, it's not like it's called like that, it's, uh, I have no idea what it's called, uh, the, the Kuhn, the, the, the Kuhn one, yeah. So I'm gonna do lift this one. And pick all of this up. Lift it. And lower the pickup. And off we go. And uh, I'm gonna unload the bale now. We're not gonna make it in time in 20 minutes. Have one more minute to go, and I'm pretty sure that's not gonna be it. Uh, there we go. Left pickup. And lower pickup. Uh, unload bail. Continue on. Two more passes and we're done. Uh, slow down. Uh, 
continue. Okay, the betting time. How many bills do we have? 20 minutes have passed. We're not still done with this episode. Uh, but how many bales? I say 30. I say 30. Uh, bear in mind there are like 5 bales in the neighbor's field. Uh, which is quite unfortunate for our neighbor. Because we're going to have to go and get him. Um, well, actually, we can, we can charge him for rolling his field. So it's nice and flat now. And here we go, this is the last bale, little bits and pieces that are left on the field, it's not gonna be enough for us to create a bale. Actually, what's gonna happen in the next one? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna pick this grass up and leave it in a, in a baler, because... Uh, well, we're not gonna do any... Uh, we're not gonna... we're gonna probably do the bale... no. Nah, no. I don't think it's gonna be bailing of the next of uh, the field, uh, the the next field in the next episode. We'll see. We'll have to see. I see the cows are dirty. Maybe we're gonna have to do a, uh, the the yard work. Anyway, 30 bales. What did you guys say? What did you say? What did you say? Here we go. 34 bales. 30, 423 bales altogether. Okay, we're done. Uh, we're gonna turn off the baler, lift the baler, and uh, we cannot pack the baler. It's, it is how it is. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. 34 bales here. Technically, it could be, I think, 34,000 euros. Uh, but I'm not selling them all. We're gonna need them. 34 bales, that's 120,000 liters of silage. And uh, let's see here. Cows require... Oh, <laughs> looks like the next episode is gonna be a fun one. They have barely enough food to last for another few minutes, so at least we know what we're gonna do in the next one. Guys, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye-bye.